Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys your September forecast for your soul connection and separation, no contact for air signs. So we're going to focus on Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So this could be your sign or your person's sign. Just take it how it resonates for you. All the decks I'm going to be using here today are created by myself and will be listed down below. And today's organite is called the um, Air Sign Divine Masculine Nude created by Michelle from Wingham Bell. So let's go ahead and dive right into the messages, you guys. Let's see what is the energy of the current vibe of your connection right now. We're going to go into my Twin Flame Journey Oracle Revised Edition. What is the current vibe of your connection with your person? Air signs. We have a reinvention. Okay. So we've got some sort of rebuilding, rekindling, and renewed energy. So maybe you guys, if you haven't heard from your person, maybe you guys just recently have, or this is something that's on the horizon. So let's go ahead and get some more details here. What else is coming through? Ooh, we have observer, surveying, cautious, and village or vigilant. And let's get one more. Ooh, vibrations. So it's like we almost feel like something is coming. Something is on the horizon. I feel like maybe both you and your person are feeling some sort of uh, frequency in the air that's just like shifting things, like the vibe has changed and shifted. There might also be something that you guys are hearing right? But there's something about being on the same wavelength here. You guys are, are on the same wavelength, thinking the same things at this particular time. So this right here is my divine love inspiration, and we have emotions. So you guys are both he uh, feeling some sort of emotions. And in order to heal it, we do need to feel it. This full moon in Pisces brought up, up a lot of energy for a lot of people. So I mean, that could be something where right now, you guys are both on the same wavelength, feeling a lot of emotions here, processing a lot of things. And we do now have self-worth. So I love when you shine bright for all the world to see. So this is ultimately helping us to work on any kind of issues that we have within ourselves. If we're holding back our emotions or we are afraid to express ourselves, it's because we do not feel worthy. We don't feel like we're going to be accepted. We feel like we're going to be rejected. So this is something that's currently being worked out on both sides. And we have clarity. Okay, so there's a lot of clarity that's also coming through. It says, I promise to explain everything later. So there's a lot of unspoken words between you and your person. There's a lot of things that are still left that, um, that are unsaid, unspoken emotions, unspoken words. There's a lot of confusion perhaps with how people feel. And I just feel like all of this is being cl cleared up. All of this is about ready to be renewed. All of this is about ready to be kind of um, embraced and dealt with. So that way we can have a better outcome with this person. So this is the Twin Flame Journey Tarot. Let's see what wants to come through here for this. Ooh, yeah. There's a transition, a death and a transition. This is Scorpio's energy. So there's some sort of a shift that's taking place. Some major cycle is ending and there's going to be a rebirth of a new cycle because we have it here with this reinvention energy. Okay. So some sort of death. What was that? Something that might not have been working before in this connection is that the way that people were kind of being super cautious because they were not wanting to open themselves up and be vulnerable because they didn't feel like they were worthy or something like that. And so now that we've had an opportunity to observe our self-sabotaging behaviors, now we have clarity on it. Now we can actually openly have these discussions and talk about it and just be honest. So this is something that's shifting and changing. Ooh, love that. The magician. We're using our tools now. This is Mercury's energy. Um, uh, Gemini, Mer uh, Gemini uh, Virgo. We are in Mercury retrograde right now, so it could even be sometimes during Mercury retrograde, we think a lot about the past. We think a lot about, you know, things, conversations that went wrong, that went awry. So if there has been some sort of a falling out or some kind of miscommunication between you and your person, I feel like during this period of time, you guys could start to gather up your tools like that sword and clear something up that needs to get cleared up here. So we're really thinking about that during September. We're really thinking about what we can do to manifest some sort of change, to reinvent this connection, to shift it to a better place. And we have the lovers here too. So another Gemini energy twin flame connection. So this is about matters of the heart. This is about making a choice 
because we care about someone, right? It's not about being wrong or right. It's just because I feel in my heart, this is the right thing to do. I'm not even thinking logically at this point. I'm just thinking with my, my heart and my heart tells me that you either deserve an apology or that you deserve an explanation or that I just want to talk to you because I miss talking to you. I want to manifest some sort of change because I feel something with you. So this right here, it's like you guys are both feeling this vibration because you guys are connected on a soul level with this person. So a lot of songs could be speaking to you about your connection. That might be the vibration right now that you're feeling. A lot of songs, a lot of, a lot of signs, a lot of information, a lot of stuff coming through during Mercury retrograde, things getting sorted out in the mind, feeling less confusion, etc. So there could be like after Mercury retrograde, which I believe is on September 15th, there could be some sort of a clarity that comes through some sort of communication. All right. So that's the current vibe for September. Let's take a look and see what is their current energy towards you specifically? What are they thinking? What are they seeing right now? How do they see you in this situation? We're going to go into my goddess awakened Oracle. What is the energy here with how they're seeing you in this situation? What they're thinking right now? We have windfall Royale. Well, first of all, they see you as a gem. Okay. They see you uh, as some value here. Like you, you bring value to their life. So if they did not embrace you or they were afraid for whatever reason to open up themselves with you, it wasn't you, it's them. This is my divine feminine healing Oracle. Let's see what else? Yeah, they have a lot of memories. So th they're thinking a lot about this connection right now. You guys, that's why I got this really big mercury energy. The Mercury retrograde is, is very significant for your person right now. They're thinking a lot about you in this connection. You're heavily on their mind during this period of time. They're thinking a lot about what went wrong and how they can show up differently for you in either the present or the future. All right, this is my Divine Masculine Tarot. What well, card just fell on my lap. We would make a great team, Three of Pentacles. So I'm getting here. We're better together than apart. This person knows this. This person knows that you add something to their life, that they would benefit having you in their life. And it's not like they're going to use you for that reason. It just means that you guys would actually make a great team. You bring something to the table here. That's how they really see you guys. So despite whatever hangups you guys have had or issues, they really do see your value. This is how they're feeling. Oh, wow. Wish fulfillment star. So it's like in their heart, they have some sort of a wish or a desire to have fulfillment and happiness with you once again. So that's what they really want. They might be in that wish upon a star energy right now where they really wish that things could be different. So right now it's being orchestrated how they're going to reinvent this connection. We have soul cleanse. So maybe they're going through some sort of a purge, but see, we have embrace emotions. Did that come through earlier or am I crazy? Hold on. Where did that come from? Here it is, emotions. Feel it in order to heal it. I embrace my emotions, soul cleanse. So they're opening themselves up to feeling something right now. And maybe even if they didn't purposely do it, it's happening. The full moon in Pisces may have really, the super moon energy may have really cracked open their heart chakra and made them feel something, whether they wanted to or not. And because they're feeling something, they're actually able to cleanse this and heal this. And this could be that one thing that's been standing in the way of contact or forward momentum or movement in this connection. So I feel like this is lifting. Something is lifting here. They're embracing how they feel towards you. They're embracing something here. And finding my place in the, in the world, the Ace of Pentacles. It's beautiful energy. Finding my place. When I find who I am, and I'm good with me, then I can be good with you. So it's almost like this person realizes that they're going to have to heal something within them to be able to heal something within this connection with you. So I like that they're taking the steps. Let's get their overall energy. Okay, so their overall energy here, coral. This takes time, right? A coral reef is not just built overnight. It takes time. So it does say creation. 
So their overall energy is that they want to build something with you. They want to create something with you. They definitely see you as an attribute to their life. Like you add something to their life, a value. Yep. We have bliss. So this bliss here is like, I want to do something that brings me joy, that brings me bliss, that, that makes me feel alive. And that's connected to you. So it's kind of like what I'm seeing here is your person doesn't feel as blissful without you. So why are you guys in this separation? It's almost like they're asking themselves, why are we not building a life together? So they're finding their way back to you with that compass is what I'm seeing. Yep. And they're, it, it starts with them though, with those aces. It starts with them. Like they know they have to dive deep. They have to go into their emotions. The emotions card came here twice now, diving deep within my own cup. Water is emotions. So as they dive deep within themselves, then they have something to bring of equal value to you and be that two of cups energy with you. But right now they're kind of like with their own cup, with their own pentacle, trying to figure out what to do with that. So they're in the midst of creating something within themselves to be able to create something with you. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go into something that is being triggered in them currently that's directly related back to you. All right. This is my cosmic contracts deck. We have inst. Ooh, you actually get this person motivated. You instigate some sort of change within them. You get them wound up. Like you give them energy. You give them life. Is what I'm seeing here. So this is actually a positive. Of course, this can be stressful if somebody isn't ready. Maybe they were not ready in the past. But yeah, you instigate some sort of change for this person. Some sort of drive to want to become a better version of themselves for you. For themselves, though, first, then you. All right, this is my twin flame journey. Yeah, to, uh, I'm sorry, not twin flame journey, uh, shadows. Yeah, non-action. So you, you kind of are the firecracker that's lighting under their butt to get them going. So they do see you as, as some sort of a motivator in their life, a reason to keep going, a reason to do better. You're a good asset for their life is what I keep getting. Yep, the sun. Wow. Wow. You bring a lot of happiness and joy to them. So you inspire them and motivate them in a positive way. This is a positive influence, you guys. Okay, now this doesn't mean that you have never had any issues or problems, or that you've never pissed this person off. But what I'm just seeing here today is that the majority of this energy is very positive and motivating for this person to grow and to kind of grow into themselves because that's what the sun is, that your sun is who you are as a person how you identify with yourself and your like the foundation of who you are. And that's just what you remind this person of is who they truly are and what they're truly meant to do and how they're going to grow in beautiful and amazing ways in this life. And they want you by their side. But right now, maybe they're doing it on their own, but they eventually want you by their side. Yep. You're their muse I'm telling you. It's just, it's, it's very positive. You're a muse for them in this life. You inspire great change and awaken things within this person. We have fixated. Okay, because this person might have, have a tendency to get fixated or be um, pessimistic. The sun is very optimistic. You might be a very positive person, a very enlightened person, very um, healthy, motivated person. And your individual might be somebody that gets fixated on their fears, fixated, uh, becomes unmotivated, leans into their shadow or their indulgent side and just kind of makes excuses and doesn't get shit done. But there's something about you that inspires them to be better. I like that. And then we have the five of pentacles. So the five of pentacles, again, is about fixated on lack. This person has a tendency to be fixated on um, being negative, pessimistic, broke, fi fixated on what they don't have. You actually inspire this person to think about what they do have, the blessings, things to focus on instead that are positive instead of negative. So in a way, they feel better when they're around you. But if they're not in a good mood and they're in this like doom and gloom phase, it might be that your light irritates their demons, basically. So just depends on where they're at, you know, with, with what they can handle. But 
you do influence this person in a very positive way. That's the overall energy that I'm seeing here today. That's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and see what this person's words that represent their feelings and desires towards you in this connection right now. Let's see. All right, this is my divine masculine revelations. We have an awakened. Interesting. I just wasn't ready for you. So the, um, this actually, I think, was in Earth sign, the unawakened energy, but it was a different deck. It wasn't this one, right? Let me just double check that I'm not getting that wrong. Yeah, it wasn't this reading, I don't think. Yeah. So that could be connected. Earth and air could be connected. But I just wasn't ready for you. This indicates here that at some time in this connection, this person wasn't ready. But they're waking, they're waking up to the fact that they actually are ready and they want to be ready and they want to build this connection, this life with you. This is happening in stages is what I'm seeing here. All right, this is my Divine Masculine Haunted deck. It says, hurts like hell. I loved and I loved and I lost you. Interesting. Did this person lose you? Did they sabotage this? Did they screw it up? Did they let you go? Were they just not ready at that time in their lives to be where you were at? I kind of feel like you were at this particular level when, with your ascension and they just weren't at that, that level with you. You were ready to, the sky's the limit and they just, they couldn't do it for whatever reason. So they may have lost you and it might hurt them that they've lost you, but it was due to the fact that they just weren't ready at that particular time. And I want you to know that it still hurt like hell. Even if they, they, um, they let you go, it still hurt them. All right. So this is my erotic activation stick. Purity, save yourself from me. So there's a part of this person that basically, it, it, this is not saying like, you know, they're telling you wait for me and, 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 you know, you can't be with anyone else. Uh, this is just basically, I want, I want to experience something with you that's pure and special to you and I, you know, save yourself for me for this experience. It might be save yourself for me for marriage, save yourself for me uh, to have children with, if that makes sense to you. But there's something that they want to do with you and only you, and they want it to be special. Might even be you're a person that has just, you don't share yourself with anybody. You have very high standards. Um, you're, you're very specific on, you know, like I said, what you do and don't do. And that might be something that this person really loves about you. They really respect your integrity. And we have regret. Wish I could take back the things I said. So they definitely feel like they lost you. They weren't ready for you. And there is some regret on not being ready for you when you were ready for them. Okay, so we have after dark in your passion. I was lost. I feel like your person got lost in the dark side. So they're telling you here, I wish that I could take something back. I either said something to you when I was operating from my shadow, from my ego self, or I did something and I just, unfortunately, I was just, <laughs> I don't want to say this, like, this is really what it means, but like I was under some kind of spell, not really, but I got lost in that. I got lost in that energy and I regret it. So it's like, they're saying they regret, they're sorry for something that they said or did. Oh, why am I grabbing this card? I didn't mean to. Here we go. Okay, let's hold nothing back, strip. Let me see you stripped down to the bone from Depeche Mode, stripped. It's like, I just want to be completely like, let, let's strip it down to the bone. Let, even if it's ugly, let's talk about it. Let's, let's, just, let's just get it out, you know? Let's just 100% just be honest and just get it all out. I want to, I want to hit the reset button. I want to be pure here. I want to come to you pure. That's what I'm getting here. And I want you to come to me pure, which means that let's let it all out. Let's talk about it. Let's get it out so we can start fresh and start new. And we have emptiness. I miss the feel of you next to me. So your person misses you on some level. They miss you being next to them. They feel, they feel like you guys would be better together than apart. 
once upon a time. So I feel like in the past, there was nothing that you could have done differently. So if you have any regrets about that, that you could have done anything differently, you couldn't save this person. They had to save themselves. And that's just what they're going through right now. They're saving themselves. They're doing some kind of work on their own cup with their own pentacle right now. And as they find value within themselves, then they're going to be able to give you of something of value in this connection. So yeah, because I feel like they just, there was a lot of crap that was in the way. So they could not come to you stripped. They were coming to you with the mask. They were coming to you with a lot of baggage, a lot of crap, a lot of trauma. And I feel like that probably got in the way, maybe for both of you. Yeah, embrace, you complete me. Wow, of course, Jerry Maguire, right? But uh, yes, there, and it's funny because Jerry Maguire, that particular movie, she's totally ready to love. She's, to, she's like, she wants that. And he's like, what do you want, my soul? And she's like, yeah, why not? And he's just like, what if I'm not built that way? There's something about your person that has had some sort of issues. And because of this, it's like they're kind of functioning at some sort of like surface level. And I feel like maybe they needed to lose you in order to now be able to want to, you know, like at the end of the movie, he realizes I miss my wife and he's ready to go all in with her. So that story and that movie is connected to your connection in some way where this is the story here. Once upon a time, that's a story. So once upon a time, this person was a particular way, but this is not going to be the way that they are in the end. In the end of the story, it ends with this person having a realization. They end up embracing you. You guys end up completing each other. There is a happy ending to the story. That is what I'm seeing here today. Hope it makes sense. <laughs> so let's now go ahead and see what is this person's next moves possibly going to be towards you. What are the next steps they could possibly take towards you? This is the Treasure Trove Oracle. We have the electrician. Light bulb goes off and then bam. Okay, now I'm going to do something. We also have the paparazzi. Okay, this is someone who's jumping out from the bushes, so they're spying. And we have the baker. So the baker, of course, is all about doing something that you love. So what I'm getting here, you guys, is this. If you've lost contact, obviously, you know, the no or the separation, no contact here. A light bulb goes off for this person when you're no longer with them, okay? They start spying on you or kind of trying to figure out where you're at, what you're doing, and they see you doing really well. Your energy is really wholesome. You're doing what you love to do. And this vibration is something that they want in their lives again, meaning that they feel the emptiness. They, they want to have you back in their life. They, they, they love that kind of person that you are, which is like this wholesome or just super positive, motivating. You, you bring some kind of life and joy to their life and they miss it. So I feel like they want it back. And this light bulb only came on after they lost you. So now they're kind of going through something where they're trying to figure out where you went, where you are, what you're doing, what's going on. And if they do have access to be able to see what you're doing via social media or somebody that you guys mutually know, what I'm getting here is that they're getting a good report. You're doing really well. So this is actually motivating them to want to come out of the bushes, to come out of hiding and to bring you some sort of a new idea, which is how can we work together? How can we work this out? Okay, so this is my Arrows of Love Oracle. We have the real deal. Damn. So, so even though Jerry, Jerry Maguire and um, the, the girl, they got married, it, it wasn't like the real deal. Like it, it just, he didn't want to break up. He didn't want to lose connection with the kid. So he gave her the ring so she wouldn't move. It wasn't the real deal though. And she knew it, which is why she was like, we need to separate. I feel like what you got from this person wasn't the real them. And this next time around, they want to offer you the real them, the real deal this time. Something solid. Yeah, something higher. Something that, that is going to be elevated. A higher love. So we've got two Depeche Mode songs coming through here. Higher love and stripped. I don't know. It's coming through. Higher love. I want a higher love. You're looking for something higher. I almost feel like when you and this person came together, like I said, you wanted something deep. You wanted something real and raw. And they were like, why? I, I don't, I don't, I don't operate that way. Or that's just, they never did that before. So as much as it might've enticed them, 
and excited them, it also equally scared them at the same time. So they may have just discarded this because they felt like they couldn't keep up with it, if that makes sense. But I just feel like as time has gone on, they're realizing, you know what? Actually, that is what I want. That is what I want. Yep. They want to take it back. They want to go back, but they want to do it differently, you guys. They want to go back. They want to romance you again. They want to take it back to where you guys were, but in a completely new way, a renewed way, a higher elevated way, giving you the real them this time. So this is the Arrows of Love Tarot. With the Three of Swords. I feel like what they want to do is they want to tell you how much this loss has been painful for them. Losing you, because we did get this message here. I loved and I loved and I lost you. Hurts like hell. They want you to know how much it hurt for them to lose you or whatever they did or said to you, how much that actually pained them to hurt you and pain you. So I feel like they're going to bring forth some sort of explanation about that. Yep. They're going to take a risk, take a chance. Could be new year, new year, new love, new you, new situation. So this might not be for a little while. But we do have the King of Wands, which is somebody who is ready. They're ready to rumble. That's Leo's energy. They have confidence. They're very alluring. They have charisma. They have confidence to basically move mountains. This king has what it takes to basically take a risk, even though they have hurt you. It does take a lot of courage and strength if you've hurt someone to come back. It really does. Because it's very easy to just cower down and say, you know what? I can't deal with this person's reaction. They probably never want to see me again or, or they're going to reject me or they're going to have some sort of words for me. It takes a very strong person to be able to go forward anyways with that apology, with their feelings. It takes a lot of strength for somebody to do that. And it's a real cowardly ass thing to do to just say, you know what, I'm just going to leave this person alone because I hurt them so much. And um, never share that with them, how you're really feeling. So I just feel like, of course, they do have a choice. They have a choice on what they'll do, what they want, etc. And as far as timing goes, it could be within the next three months because we have this three here. But I feel like there's more of like this new year energy. So maybe by next year, there will be a new cycle on this connection. And the fool is ruled by Uranus, which is all about freedom from restriction, freedom from the ego, free, free, free from pride or fear that's holding us back. And I just feel like this pain seems to be in the way of your connection right now, moving to the next phase or chapter. And this person is thinking in ways on how they're going to take control of this and start a new beginning and a new phase in this connection with you. So kind of like give you the real version of themselves this time. So anyways, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed these messages. Thank you guys so much for choosing to watch this reading and I hope you enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.